transportation is key for Michigan's economic future, but how exactly should it be funded? Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers coming to you from the State Capitol Building in Lansing. Joining me now is State Representative Marilyn Lane, a Democrat from the 31st District and also the Vice Chair of Transportation. Thank you so much for joining us well, today. Thank you for having me. Biggest issue today with transportation is uh, what? Our crumbling roads? Yes, absolutely. And uh, I think from everybody's perspective, no matter what walk of life you come from, everybody would agree if you travel on Michigan roads, they're much need of repair. Uh, the big question is how do we fund that repair? Um, I would currently say being the Vice Chair of Transportation, we have probably about, a, well, we do have 110 lawmakers, but we have about 115 ideals floating around. <laughs> so it's a challenge right now. We're going through a good uh, vetting process. But because the economic times we're still troubled with uh, makes this a very uh, delicate situation. Um, so this is what we're tasked with right now. Why do we need to change the way uh, we're funding roads? How are they funded now? Problem is it's not funded. It's not adequately funded. That's the problem. Um, we've been kicking this can down the lane for so long and that most people think that the 6% sales tax that we get at the pump, which should have gone to fixing our roads, does not go there. Our forefathers had a different idea of the formula. So constitutionally, we have out of that six cents, four cents of it goes to our education, which is you know, obviously a, a very important issue for us that we have to continue to fund. We have another penny and a half going to local government, which too you know, needs that source of funding, leaving us about a half a cent going to the uh, funding of our roads, which is inadequate. In order to change that formula, that would have to be a constitutional vote of the people. But even if we did consider that, how would we you know, fill that void? So now we're at a point where we're trying to look for um, other means of revenues. But I think there's really great opportunity in looking within the state budget itself, make certain we're as efficient as we can be, um, and see how we can streamline some of the operations and, and look to us first before we look out to the voters. And I think that's where most of the lawmakers are at right now. But we have to come up with some type of formula. We can't just talk about it. We really do because our roads are seriously crumbly. The longer we delay it, the more money it will cost us. And in the end, you know, we're just really going to be left with very deteriorated infrastructures. So if there are 115 ideas out there right now, in your opinion, what's the best one? Well, again, I would be in favor of looking. I think that there's a lot of antiquated formulas that we have within state government. I think that state government has the opportunity to freeze its budget. I think we need to look internally right now, first and foremost, where we can become efficient before we go to the taxpayers. I don't think that we need to go to the taxpayers right now. I think that we need to be uh, mindful that they have their challenges and don't understand the makeup of it. Um, I think there's antiquated formulas, such as what we have in the sixth sense, um, that we need to look at, and we need a fuller restructuring, not just an immediate solution to finding funding, but how our current formulas are funding other operations that I think may need to be a good look at. How important is it to have uh, good roads, good bridges uh, to Michigan's economy? Imperative. I mean imperative because, you know, clearly as we see our Michigan being reinvented and turn around, uh, transportation plays a huge, you know, as the NITC bridge that we're talking about, the e-commerce that's going to come across, you know, from Canada and through Mexico. We look forward to this uh, commerce coming to us. Well, once they cross this, you know, crossing, they hit our roads and, and those roads are vital to get that type of transportation or industry that we're promoting along with the fact that just as everyday motorists drive those roads, you know, make those roads safe in driving so that, you know, a lot of uh, repairs are done on cars, a lot of accidents, there's even death tolls on, on roads that have crumbled and accidents that have been caused by that. So it's something serious that we have to look at, um, and so that's, that's where we're at with it right now, and I think there's opportunity. All right, thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you so much. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was State Representative Marilyn Lane, a Democrat from the 31st District.